Groups opposing public funding of private schools have been making a push through the panhandle to gather petition signatures to put the issue on the November ballot. Support Our Schools Nebraska needs to collect at least 90,000 valid signatures to give voters the option to repeal LB 1402, which would provide up to $10 million in direct state funds to nonprofit organizations granting scholarships to low income and disadvantaged students wanting to attend a private or parochial school. During stops in the Scottsbluff and Gehring area, Jenny Benson, a group supporter and the Nebraska State Education Association president said while public schools do receive hundreds of millions of dollars in property tax, revenue and state aid, that $10 million is no less important. And I, you know, I hear those comments. I hear the amount, you know, TIOSA is a very complicated formula for funding. We all believe that property tax relief needs to happen. But you also have to look at then what do those look like? They've already put all these spending caps in place um, for school districts. But if you're looking at school districts like uh, Sioux County, where there's nowhere else to go, that's going to be more per pupil <coughs> in a Sioux County than it would be in a Lincoln Public Schools or an Omaha Public Schools. Um, but we want all kids to have the same opportunity, and that's that accountability piece. Benson also said, while we have some very good private and parochial schools in the state, Less than half of 93 Nebraska counties have one, and they would not face the same accountability for those public funds. In addition to needing 90,000 valid signatures from across our state, Support Our Schools also needs to get valid signatures from 5% of registered voters in at least 35 counties.